All right, so now we got my wife's absolute favorite fragrance here. Um, I love it. This is Davidoff Cool Water. Okay, listen, this is an old classic from 88. Dude, you can't, I mean, look, you can pick this up on discounters right now. A bottle this big, this is a 4.2 ounce, 125 mil for $18 right now. Um, FragranceNet, um, FragranceBuy.ca, I think has it for $19 for one of these big ass bottles. And this is just known to pull compliments. Like, look, no, no alcohol burn in the beginning, even though it's a dirt cheap fragrance. If you're gonna buy something cheap, get this. Um, it's just, it's a safe blind buy. I didn't test it before I bought it. My God, bro. Okay, here's what it smells like. Cool water smells like every laundry detergent and fabric softener you've ever smelled. They all kind of smell similar. Because it was so popular as a fragrance that those companies decided to put that scent into their products. So you got on the top, lavender mint. So similar to like, um, uh, what's called Lamal. Uh, green notes, rosemary, coriander, seawater notes in the top. Um, middle notes, sandalwood, neroli, geranium, jasmine. The reason, like, why this is such a good summer, springtime fragrance, I don't recommend it for the fall. You could wear it year-round. I mean, if you're indoors, it doesn't really matter, but, um, I don't recommend this for fall or winter just because it's not strong enough. It does last good. It lasts for me about, like, five, six hours on my skin, so it's, it's a decent, um, cheap fragrance. Um, sandalwood, neroli, geranium, jasmine in the middle. The base notes are musk, tobacco. Yes, this is a tobacco fragrance. Um, oak moss, cedar, and ambergris. I don't know, know where the ambergris is coming from, but I don't get that in here. It's mostly just fresh seawater, like, fresh, I don't know. It just smells like laundry to me, like clean laundry. Like mm -hmm. the purest clean laundry you can ask for. Uh, they've compared it to um, Green Irish Tweed by Creed. Um, but I've heard that's a more complex scent. And this is like the generic version of it. But yeah, um, Cool Water uh, came out. Um, I think, I don't know if Green Irish Tweed or Cool Water came out first. But I think uh, Cool Water came out after. It was like the same guy, the same guy who made Green Irish Tree by Creed, which is like a, a $300 fragrance, um, made this and they smell almost identical, just with cheaper ingredients in this, obviously. I recommend this for everyone. Um, problem is, is I've, I've talked to people. I've been like, hey, what, what kind of fragrance do you wear? Do you wear cologne? And they always mention that they wear this because it's just so popular um, most people, even like most dads, most uncles, most men know what this is. Um, it's been talked about in music. It's been talked about in movies. Um, if you don't know what cool water is, I mean, geez, like you, you gotta upgrade your game. Um, uh, a lot of people wear it. So if you, you're not going to smell unique at all. Um, this has got to be probably the most, the best selling, um, men's cologne like for a very long time this was other than like aqua dj which doesn't really count uh i've never actually smelled aqua dj but yeah so that's my review of down of cool water definitely recommend you try it um if you don't like it if you want to smell a little bit different um by trey nui by armoff i heard it's a little bit more complex um try cody aspen maybe um that might impress you a little bit more or just go with lamal lamal is uh better for the winter time anyways more reviews coming